buying a home long distance. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Angela O'Hare your favorite Las Vegas realtor and today I'm going to be talking about buying a home long distance but before we get started make sure you hit that like and subscribe button buying real estate can be very stressful when you think about the mortgages down payments closing costs etc but buying a home out of state that's downright scary it can be done though in fact Thousands of people purchase properties from afar without even seeing the home. Armed with the right real estate team, realistic expectations, and knowledge of the area, you too can find a home that meets your criteria. I work with a lot of out-of-state buyers, and I would say about 90% of my buyers are from out-of-state. Either they're from the West Coast or the East Coast, they contact me because I am the real estate expert here in the Las Vegas Valley. But I wanted to go over some tips when you're buying from afar, what to expect and what you need to do prior to even making that decision to relocate to a different state. So no, my number one tip to buying long distance is do your research and do your research again. You should always do loads of real estate research before you purchase a home. Regardless if it's out of state or within the same city, you need to do your research. But digging through the internet becomes extremely important when you're buying from afar. Of course, you're gonna have a real estate agent help you find the right home, and more on that later, but you just can't count on that. You need to be your own advocate and do your own Google search on the different areas that that city has to offer. Which leads me to my number two advice is, be picky about your real estate agent. When you're relocating, you need an agent that's gonna be your eyes and ears. So it's imperative to find someone you trust and has your best interests at heart. It's important to find a top-notch realtor to show you the ins and outs of the city so you can make an informed and wise decision. Without a seasoned, trustworthy real estate agent at your side, you can make a very costly, costly mistake. To avoid any regret, you want to make sure you hire an agent that is knowledgeable in the market and all the neighborhoods that that city has to offer. Another tip is check out their client reviews on Google, on Zillow, see what their clients are saying about them, and you can also see on Zillow what type of sales that this real estate agent has. Are they an active agent? Do they have many transactions? Do they only have one or two transactions? It's very important to Google your real estate agent and see what type of agent they are. Since you'll be buying a home long distance, you wanna make sure you choose a realtor that is reachable, either by phone, text, or email. If you can't get a hold of that realtor, then they're too busy for you and you need to just ditch them. And another key part is you need to make sure that your real estate agent is willing to do FaceTime or Zoom calls with you to make tours of the homes that you find online. That's very important. What I do is I'll do a FaceTime with my clients or a Zoom call, but I'll also make a video of that home because oftentimes you wanna go back and review the home to see something that you may, may have missed during the FaceTime call. And my number three advice is figure out your needs. What I mean by figuring out your needs is figuring out what type of home you're really looking for. Are you downsizing from a 4,000 square foot home to a 2,000 square foot home? What type of home are you really looking for? Are you looking for a single story home or a two story home? Three bedrooms, four bedrooms, how many square feet? Once you realize what your needs are and what type of home you're looking for, then that will help your realtor help you find the perfect home for you. And number four is what are the different neighborhoods like? I mean, really. What are they like? As you know, or you may not know, the Las Vegas Valley has over 75 different master plan communities, different neighborhoods to choose from, all with their own types of amenities. So do your research. A lot of people go on YouTube. Figure out, a lot of people, of course, when they move to Vegas, they only know two areas. They know Henderson and Summerlin. I've done a video on that, about the difference between the two. But figure out what part of Las Vegas you wanna live in. 
where are you going to be working if you do have a job here, if you're relocating because of work? Um, once you learn the different neighborhoods, then you can pinpoint the area of where you want to live. Now, sometimes you may need to come to Vegas and scope out the different neighborhoods first before you even contact a real estate agent, just so you get the vibe of that community in the area and the feel. Um, once you've discovered or figured out what part of the valley you want to live in, then I suggest reaching out to a realtor because the valley is vast and it's big. And if you're looking in Summerlin and Henderson, they're 40 minutes, 45 minutes apart. That's a lot of different looking. So the more narrowed you are, the better it'll be for you and your real estate agent to find your dream home. And number five is how much can you actually afford? I get a lot of clients that want to sell their home wherever they're located and use the purchase or the proceeds of that home to purchase a home here in the Las Vegas Valley. Some of these clients own their homes outright, they don't have a mortgage, so they'll use the funds to purchase a home here. So you will need to figure out how much net you're gonna make from the sale of your home or how much down payment you're going to put down. If you are financing, I suggest that you um, ask your real estate agent if they have a preferred lender that they can contact. Um, as long as they are licensed in the state of Nevada, you can also do your own research, but it's important that we need to know what your purchasing power is. What is, what can you afford? Once you get that figured out, then we can set you on listing alerts, um, based off your, 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 your needs are in a home and then what your price point is. And number six is plan a visit and get the lay of the land, which kind of goes together with my tip number four, what are neighborhoods? Basically, come visit Vegas, take a look at all these different neighborhoods. I'm sure you're pretty knowledgeable of what is out there or what you've seen on YouTube or Googled different communities in the Las Vegas Valley. Again, it's important to get the lay of the land, see what amenities are close to each of these neighborhoods, the shopping conveniences, um, how far it is from work, etc. And number seven is keep an open mind. When buying a home long distance, it's important to keep an open mind about the different neighborhoods and communities in that city. While you may initially have an idea of what type of home you're looking for and the neighborhood you want to move to, keep an open mind of different possibilities or options. After all, if you're dead set on a particular home or particular amenity, then you may miss out on different opportunities of purchasing a home that could be your dream home. Buying a home remotely could be a great option for people who've bought homes before in the past, or if this is a vacation home, or if your parents buying a home for your children or for investors. In many ways, the process for buying a home long distance is the same as buying in person, but you're just gonna have to rely heavily more on your real estate agent to find you the perfect home be present for the inspections, go over the paperwork with you, and be there for closing. As such, finding the right agent, one that has experience with remote transactions, is one of the most important steps that you can make in your house hunt. And do your research is the most important thing. Look up that agent, see how they are in their reviews. The reviews will be a good key indicator if they are, were long distance buyers in the past. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions about buying a home long distance, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112, or I've posted a buyer form down in the description below. As always, if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.